We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin. Good tidings for Christmas and a Happy you too madam Roy back again back to you with a unboxing video of this my book five terabyte external hard drive that I got for Christmas I've had a request for this uh, video so basically in this one I'm just gonna go ahead and unbox it uh, and show you guys what it looks like um, this is once again a my book West a Western digital my book uh, it says premium storage, complete backup and security. So basically this is going to be my new uh, YouTube video backup drive because I am rapidly running out of space on my current one terabyte external drive. And if you can see through here, I am filming with the DCR TRV280, which I have, uh, haven't have used in a while. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this. Now I want to show you that it does say it is Windows 10 compatible, which really isn't saying much because most external hard drives are. Um, it gives you quick instructions on how to set it up. Basically you plug it into power, you plug it into your computer via the uh, USB cable, and you go ahead and, and install the backup software. That step I will probably skip because I really don't want to use um, their proprietary software. Um, back here it just Tez says you can use this for local and cloud backup storage. Um, automatically backs up your files to the drive or to the Dropbox account. I may or may not set that up. I haven't decided yet. As most of you guys know, I'm not a big fan of cloud storage. Um, over here, it basically just tells you um, how it'll work with Windows 8. Not Nothing too interesting there. And underneath here, it gives you the specs. Um, let me see what it says. This is the actual model of the external drive itself, uh, right up here. One of these may actually be what the internal drive is, too. I'm not exactly sure. Sometimes they'll put the top one as the model of the external drive, and then the bottom one is the model of whatever drive is inside that enclosure. Um, you can see it says uh, there's the um, UPC 30-day support on that. So let's go ahead and uh, open this up. I have to remove the uh, plastic first. All right, I removed the plastic. And before I actually get into it, I just wanted to show you what it's supposed to contain. It's supposed to have the drive itself, the backup software, the USB cable, the AC adapter and the quick install guide and we'll go ahead and see if uh, it actually has that or not and this does support uh, super speed uh, USB so this should be USB 3.0 capable which is going to be nice because as most of you guys know my Dell uh, XPS 8700 does support uh, USB uh, 3.0 so let's see if we can figure out how to open this thing <laughs> it's really tight I remember Western Digital does this they really like to pack their stuff well there we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and pull this out. I'll leave that till last. And uh, we'll open this. I'm assuming this is the uh, AC adapter and probably the uh, USB cable. Alright, so I pulled this aside. And yes, first and foremost, we have the power adapter. Uh, let's see what they're actually using here. It looks like a generic brand. It says it's called... Uh, Oh, that's funny. Asian power devices. Yeah. Man, that's about as generic as you can get, wouldn't you say? Uh, 12 volt um, output with at 1.5 amps, and it's uh, negative to positive polarity. So, nothing too uh, unusual, but I'll tell you, this is definitely not a very high quality adapter. This weighs maybe all of one or two ounces, so I might actually be replacing that. I'm a little disappointed being a Western Digital Drive. So if you guys get one of these from Best Buy, um, definitely expect to be replacing this uh, soon after. Yeah, not, not too good, Best Buy. Next we have the USB 3.0 or Super Speed Cable as they're calling them now. 
uh, and you can see that this does have the uh, blue little plastic piece there, so that does indicate it is USB 3.0. Though, as one of my um, viewers point out, they're not necessarily blue anymore. Um, sometimes they still look like just a generic uh, USB port with black on it, and they still can be a super speed cable. This is the proprietary connection that um, these external hard drives tend to use. That's, I'm guessing that's for data because that looks like a micro USB and that's probably to give it some extra power. Um, you guys can correct me later on if I'm wrong, but um, I believe that's how it works. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this hard drive here. Uh, this I'm assuming is the quick start guide. Yep, my book. And let's see what it says here. And again, it's just explaining to you how to hook it up with three easy steps power, plugging in the USB cable, and then actually connecting it to your computer and installing the software. But most of us know how to do that, so we can skip that part. And then finally, the beast itself, the Western Digital My Book. Um, I don't see any buttons or anything on the front, so I'm assuming it probably powers on automatically. The older My Books I had one years ago used to have a button here to turn on and off and another button for uh, syncing purposes, but uh, they probably did away with that because the computer can control everything now through the USB uh, 3.0 port. And back here, it's really simple as well. Here is the power port, the 12 volt in, and the super speed uh, USB combo port. And right here you have a Kensington lock um, plug, a port, which is very important because if you're using this in, say, a business location, then you may need to lock this up to prevent your employees from stealing your information. So you could definitely see how that's a plus, though I think I could probably figure a way around that if I really, really wanted to. Yeah, so this was an unboxing of the MyBook West, uh, Di Western Digital MyBook external hard drive, 5 terabytes. I will show this in operation in a later video, but I'm going to go ahead and end it here for tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.